Take it, take it, take it. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I have a pretty, uh, very different product than what I'm, what I usually review. This is called the Go Kart Pro from Segway. And uh, to start the review off, I just want to let you know what a lot of my family members thought of it because this is something that's just unique, different, and a lot of fun to ride. So let's uh, start off with some first impressions and some first rides from uh, my family and friends. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Isn't that awesome? Mom, I don't like it. Let's let Dad have a ride and then we'll give you a little one, okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just so zippy. I mean, it just goes. Like you got it. It's just like this tiniest little movement. Suddenly, 360. It. That's pretty exhilarating. Is that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> it just like it pops. It takes off, and I mean, faster, faster! Don't break, faster. <laughs> that was not good. Not good. <laughs> there you go. Uh, this kid uh, riding it, the range might be like two miles. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like a, I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Whoa, shit. <laughs> this is amazing. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time to show you what type of range you can get from this. Segway says it has a 15.5 mile range. That is really gonna depend on what speed mode and how you drive this. So I'm gonna ride it hard with a lot of drifting, stopping, and just have a lot of fun on it and show you what type of range and how we can ride this riding at that level. Let's do this. Well, let me tell you a little bit about the machine as I'm on the range test. Starting off with the steering ratio, which is two to one. To give you a comparison, a car's steering ratio is 24 to one. And what that means is you just have immediate response and reaction. I mean, the handling on this is a little bit jarring, to be honest, but very fun. Well, the cool thing about this is it has a rider size rating of 4.3 up to 6.3. I'm 5'11", I have it fully extended and feel actually cramped with it. If you're above six feet, it's gonna feel really small for you. Well, Segway says they have designed this to withstand impacts and crashes. On the side and in the front and the back, there's rubber pads, like a rubber sort of on a fabric or something to kind of dampen the blow if you do run into a curb. As you can see, it has a very low center of gravity. All the weight is just above the ground. And speaking of that, the ground clearance is only 1.8 inches. It's got a racer car seat, so it's, it's you know it's a it's a bucket seat. Each side comes out about five six inches. It's snug for me. It's a snug fit, which is nice because the handling is just so insane. So you know you're not gonna be jostling left and right. It does hold me in place actually really well. And then you got a racing style high traction steering wheel. And then they've added what they call race car inspired foot pedals, and those look cool. I actually really like the pedals. In the front, there's three inch high grip tires. And then in the rear, you got the 2.7 inch drifting TPE tires. And as you can see from the footage, it doesn't take a lot for this thing to slide around. On the right side, you have a nice feeling e-brake handle. It's actually quite large too, so you don't have to kind of guess around where it's at. And then there's a green seat belt, kind of a cool seat belt. I like the way it connects together. You have to have power. Now, as far as power, it has two 500 watt nominal, 2400 watt peak motors, both in the rear wheel. And that's powered by a 55 volt, 432 watt hour battery. And that does take four to five hours to recharge. And that power is set to take a rider up to 23 miles per hour. 
Now, as far as like hauling this thing around, it is quite heavy at 112 pounds. I've done it by myself. It's kind of a pain in the butt and I gotta be careful. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky and it has a uh, carrying capacity of 220 pounds. So it's small, but can carry a lot of weight. As far as acceleration, it doesn't get much faster than this. This produces 1.02 Gs and it just goes instantaneous. Now this does have a hill rating of up to 15% grade and the motor produces 96 newton meters of torque. That's the most torque out of any vehicle I've ever tried. I'm not gonna do a hill test. This is more just taking it to a parking lot like this and riding around. You're not gonna take this on a trail or anything, but if you didn't wanna climb a hill, there is that option. Well, the race test is complete. Uh, the app show 2.37 miles with eight, 18 feet of elevation gain, which is more than I thought I was gonna get. Uh, now, you, you, this is, you know, that's what you get when you ride hard. I really don't think you're going to be buying this to go, you know, 5, 10 miles an hour down the trail. If you do, you might get 15, 16 miles. Uh, but if you buy it for what it's meant to do, to drift, to ride hard, to, for, for speed, then you can expect about 2 to 4 miles, uh, depending on how heavy you are. I'm 185 pounds, so that kind of gives you a reference or an idea. Anyways, that's what you can expect when you ride hard and drift a lot. Well, in the app, here's where you can change the speed mode. So starting off with the safe mode, let's see how fast that goes. Well, safe mode is topping out at a whopping four miles per hour. This is new rider mode. A little bit uh, faster, we got 10 miles an hour. You do have to stop the vehicle to switch the speed modes, just an FYI. This is sport mode. That's uh, fifth, let's see, 16 for sport mode. And then the fastest mode, track mode. Trying to hit 23 here. Oh, looks like 21 is the top. And like I said, the power is a little bit less at uh, around 30%. So I bet with a full battery, you could hit uh, 23 miles per hour, which is plenty fast. <laughs> that is plenty, plenty fast. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna show you the acceleration power and it shows 35% battery life. So this is kind of on the low end. Here we go. Oh, that was good times. Well, end of the parking lot. I will say that it has slowed down a little bit from a full battery, so uh, not very much though. That's close to the same power you get right from a full charge. I wanted to run through the app, show you a few things, which is kind of cool. First, you can start or you can record your ride. You can uh, lock the go-kart. There's a range, the battery life, and odometer. There's also lights. There is a tail light, pretty bright white tail light. And then underneath you got these kind of body glow lights. And you can change the pattern on that as well. This is the breathing mode. And then in the front you got a cool looking green headlight. And that's pretty much it. Well, in the app, you can change the uh, the steering setting from uh, basically understeer to oversteer, which is drifting. I have it cranked up all the way to 100%, so it should be able to drift a little bit better now, easier anyways. Gonna see how, uh, see what the difference is. Well, to be honest, I, I can't tell that big of a difference. Um, it, it might be a little bit easier to drift with it all cranked up all the way, but I, I was expecting a bigger difference and there just, there really isn't. Well, this is a two for one, uh, sort of a two for one deal. Uh, if you undo the two straps, this uh, the motor wheels come out and then you can use this just as a regular Segway. And then there's a piece that you can attach for the uh, like the knee piece and you got your regular Segway. Now the Pro also comes with a waterproof rating, IPX4, a one year warranty and free shipping in the lower 48. The only thing I didn't like about the go-kart is the battery life. I wish it could go like 20 times longer. It's just too fun to only ride it for, you know, half an hour full out or, or if even that. If you want to pick it up, I got the link in the description. Also be sure to check out my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. There you can find all my reviews sorted by price and capability. Hit that like button before you go and please subscribe for the latest in electric bike, board and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.